What's up guys, this is Cody here. And if you guys haven't heard, iOS 9 is actually available to developers right now. But if you're not a developer and you haven't registered your UDID, then you might have a little bit of trouble finding that download and installing it. Well, in this video, I'm actually gonna show you the entire process and make it extremely easy to do so. So really all you have to do is just download the IPSW for your device. So to begin with, all you wanna do is check the back of your device to see what model number your device is right here. So here it says model A1533. So that's the IPSW that we're actually going to download. So this is the iPhone 5S. And you can see right here, if I come over to uh, this website, which I'll put a link in the description below for you guys, you can see that all you have to do is just scroll down here and you can see that my model number is A1533 and this is what I'm going to download. So you just do the exact same thing. Now, you'll want to download the torrent version of this just because the direct download is actually not working right now, but hopefully in the future, that's going to work as well. But for right now, you'll need a torrent client. If you've never used a torrent before, you'll need a torrent client such as uTorrent, which I'll put a link in the description below for you guys. You can just click on and download that. And then once you install uTorrent, you'll just come back here and then click on the version that you need for your particular device. Now, once you do that, it should go ahead and download. And I've gone ahead and done that already so we don't have to wait for the download. And I've saved this IPSW on my desktop right here. Now, I highly recommend you guys, if you're going to install iOS 9 on your device, I probably wouldn't put it on my daily driver. And also, even if it is your daily driver, I would definitely back up and restore my device to iTunes before I proceeded with this process. So once you've downloaded your IPSW, and you've backed up your device and then you've restored it to a clean restore, then you should go ahead and continue with this process. So at this point, now that you've done all that, all you wanna do is open up iTunes. So now once you have iTunes open, just go ahead and click on the iPhone that we have right here. And we are not going to click on restore iPhone. Again, we are not going to click on restore iPhone. We wanna click on check for update. So if you're on a Mac, what you wanna do is hold down the option key and then click check for update, just like that. And then we're gonna to go to our desktop. So when we click on desktop, there should be one IPSW right there and that's the one that we've downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and open that up. Now, if you're on a Windows PC, rather than holding option, you're gonna hold down the shift key and then do the exact same thing. Now, before we actually click update here, you'll want to see that I am for sure on iOS 8.3 here. So we're just gonna tap on about. You can see iOS 8.3. So now we're gonna go ahead and click on update and then it should go ahead and start the updating process. All right, so now you can see that it's actually complete. So I can just swipe over here. It says update has completed. You can create a passcode if you want to. I'm actually going to tap right here. I don't think I have to. Yeah, we're not gonna add a passcode and continue and skip this step. And you can see I'm now on iOS 9. You can tell if I pull up the app switcher, you can see that we have the new app switcher right there. And of course, if we swipe over to the left, we have our spotlight, which you normally can't get other than swiping down just like that. So this is definitely iOS 9 and it updated completely without errors. Now keep in mind this process is not flawless and you possibly can get an activation error. So if you do, be prepared to restore your device. So that's why I told you to back up your device and then restore it to a clean restore before you even attempted this process. But let me know how it goes in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, until next time, peace.